Hi everybody, I'm Brad from BigFamilyHomestead.com and today I have an awesome book review suggestion thingy dingy that you absolutely have to get. This is volume two of books you gotta get. So everybody knows whether you're in the prepping community or the survivalist community or the homesteading community, everybody kind of instinctively knows that something is really, really going wrong with our society. And, and that's actually caused me and my family to, on a dime about six years ago, completely switch from a life of electronic everything and just fun computers, gadgets, all that kind of stuff into learning how to grow things and be more self-sufficient and bees and honey and goats and chickens and all that kind of stuff. It's really kind of funny because everybody around us thought we were crazy for a long time. Just a quick story, I, I work at a church and uh, so we were living in a parsonage and in this parsonage, um, this is where my wife decided, oh my gosh, we gotta have chickens. So I thought, oh no, because we live in kind of an affluent, affluent area and the only reason why we could afford to live there is because of the church and the parsonage. There's no way we'd be able to afford to live in this area without that. So I thought, there's no way they're gonna say yes to chickens. This is just absolutely off the chain ridiculous. So I went to my pastor and I said, okay, my wife's got this crazy harebrained idea. She wants to have chickens in the backyard of the parsonage. And he scratched his head and he said, well, there's no way that the city's gonna let you do it. So if the city lets you do it, okay. So he was basically thinking, he's not gonna say no, but he also uh, knows or in his head thinks that there's no way the city's gonna, this is an affluent area. Well, it just turns out that only two months before they had made a, uh, a resolution that you could have backyard chickens. And so, so funny. So I had to go back to him and go, you're not gonna believe this, because uh, I wasn't on board yet. And uh, then I went to my wife and said, you're not gonna believe this. And she, yay, and got her chickens. Well, that's, that's kind of one of the catalysts that started us into this, this world of getting ready for whatever may come down the pike, I mean, and, and growing and being proactive about your future. I think that is one of the most important things is that we're all proactive about it. We're not caught unaware with whatever might be around the corner. And so for us, it's been a journey and every bit of information, every bit of uh, knowledge that we get now, we treasure and we put it to use. And, and that brings me to this. Um, the other day, I, I put out a video of volume one on books you gotta have. And I got some feedback from a YouTube buddy, Mr. Trek Fan Dan. And thank you, Dan, I appreciate it greatly. He suggested this book right here. The LDS Preparedness Manual. And this book, oh, this thing is awesome. I ordered it last week and uh, I think on Wednesday, literally after he had suggested, because here's the thing, if you know anything about the Church of the Latter-day Saints, and I, I only know very little, so, so if I say anything that is, is uh, sketchy or whatever, please take it from the point of ignorance. I'm not trying to be insulting in any way, but if you know, anything at all about them, one of their core beliefs is, is preparedness, survival. You've got to keep on, you've got to protect your family. And they take it so serious, in fact, that you end up with manuals and classes and how-to guides and, and you know all kinds of stuff that I think is super, super cool. Now, I'm not an LDS guy, I differ with them theologically, but I still cohabitate in peace. Way to go, guys. Appreciate all you're doing. Um, but for me, this, this information is invaluable and I wanted to share it with you because this book cost me $20. Look at that, bam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna thumb through it just a little bit. It cost me $20 and it was seven bucks shipping, but I'd like to quickly point out that you don't have to pay the $20. It is available online for free as a PDF. I'm gonna show you how you can get that but for me, I want to have the physical copy in hand, and this book is so big that I, I, I don't want to print it out. It would be kind of a, I don't know, it might cost you more in ink, uh, I mean, because there's so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit about this book right here now. Uh, keep in mind, it is not the ultimate holy grail Bible book, if you will, of survivalism, but I will say they hit on just about every topic I can think of, how-tos, numbers, weights, measures, even 
surviving with babies, surviving with, you know, all kinds of different things. And I'm gonna thumb through this right now. And uh, once again, thanks to Mr. Trek Fan Dan. So here we go. So just a quick thumb through to show you what kind of stuff we're looking at here. I mean, basically, if you go through emergency preparedness, why, getting started, grains, legumes, milks, fats. Uh oh, by the way, we did find this little typo, milkum, milkum fats. I think it might be milk. Anyway, everything from defense, sprouting, evacuation, shelter, sanitation, pandemics, defense, all kinds of stuff. Now, just look at the massive amount of data, charts, important stuff, everything from communications to sanitation. This is an amazing resource that you really, really should consider having a physical copy of. I am looking forward to digging through this in the next few weeks and, and um, looking for where I, I can go ahead and become a more uh, effective homesteader, prepper, whatever you want to call. Um, I call it insurance. So there you have it. Okay, so quickly, where I got this book uh, to order it over here is abysmal.com, A-B-Y-S-M-A-L. They do sell other resources, and I believe they even sell silver and all kinds of different things. I don't know if you have to be in the LDS church to do that or not, but I was allowed to purchase the book. Proof positive, there it is. Uh, that's where I got it. It was, uh, I believe, $20 and then $7 for shipping. Now, uh, over here, and also on this site, you can find the download to this, the PDF. So if you, if you wanna just download the PDF, it's all there. It's all there. I just chose to go ahead and, and have it in a physical copy because who knows how much, you know, this would take to print out. I'm, I'm just opening up right now. There's 505 pages. You know, that's a lot, a lot of printing. And so um, I elected to go ahead and, and just pay them and hopefully they will use it to do some good in the world. And uh, well, there you have it. Now, one slight caveat, um, you'll notice that this is actually handbook number two. Uh, and I opened up, started reading, you know, and uh, basically this is a book two, Temporal Preparedness General Member Edition. This is a public edition of the LDS Preparedness Manual. Book one is the leadership edition, only available to LDS leadership. Now, I've been involved with Bible studies and stuff where you have leadership books and then you have the general population books. I do not know if that's what that means or if the leadership book has tons and tons and tons more goodies. I don't know what that means. However, I did look it up on eBay and there are people selling the leadership book on eBay. Now, LDS people, if you're not supposed to sell the book on eBay, I'm sorry for telling everybody, but you can get it, so sorry. So there it is in a nutshell. This is a book you have to have. Get it today. If you can find the 20 bucks, get it. If you cannot, at least download the PDF. And if you can't print the PDF out right now, stick it on a thumb drive. Get it, get it in your hands. This book is filled with invaluable information. And so uh, once again, thanks to Mr. Trek fan Dan and uh, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.